Maritime has been traditionally about dedicated systems. So you have uh, uh, different systems for uh, security. Uh, you have a different systems for your uh, operational communication, where basically shipping companies needs to run their business. There's a systems for uh, for a crew uh, crew internet, and, uh, and 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 so on. And actually, that doesn't differ from the other industries. Uh, may I just give you an example? So, how many of you have a, a, a remotely readable electricity meter at home? At least we have. And how many of you have integrated that into your home broadband? That doesn't happen. So, uh, so basically, what Maritime needs to do is to learn from other industries where the digitalization and using data is far more uh, ahead and not to try to force kind of a different use cases to a single channel. The satellite communication works perfect for, uh, for the purpose what it was built for. Uh, it was introduced to Maritime to basically connect the people on bridge uh, to the people at office, uh, allowing shipping companies to run their operations. It wasn't designed uh, to connect all the uh, millions of devices sailing on board of the vessels. And if you think that, uh, 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 that you basically put together uh, crew internet users and your navigation system to the same communication channel, that's basically a creating a ticking time bomb. So there is a reason why governmental bodies, for example, use physically separated networks uh, for their own uh, operations. Exactly the same model applies on high-tech companies where you run the product development uh, on a dedicated environment. You don't put that uh, to the same channel where you have a kind of an entertainment use of the internet, for example. 